Your team, Go Pack Go, Sean Quinn, Tony Haney, Russell Hexton, and David Miller. Our activity is performed on the foundation of compromise. In order to coordinate for each group member's schedule, we all met on Saturday, November 20th to volunteer. This became a conflict since a few of our group members work weekends. However, we, will, we are able to pinpoint a Saturday afternoon where we were all able to free up a day. The concept of moral intent also played a big role in our project. Moral intent is an authority's degree of commitment to the moral course of action. This applies to our group's work ethic in the project. All of our team members have shown that each element of the project is important to them by completing their assigned portion on time. This says a lot about the motivation and competence of our team. This positive attitude was perfected during our experience of restoring the environment. The team was enthusiastic about the task at hand, as well as finding out more about the organization that makes it all possible. A major problem facing the world today is restoring and protecting the environment for future generations. One way to restore our local environment is to keep out any invasive species. A major invasive species in Wisconsin is buckthorn. Common buckthorn and glossy buckthorn are closely related species originated in Eurasia and introduced to North America as ornamentals. They were planted in Wisconsin as early as 1849, becoming widespread after 1900. They are well established and rapidly spreading in Wisconsin, predominantly by birds. Buckthorns are able to spread aggressively because they thrive in habitats ranging from full sun to shaded understory and are an abundant seed producer. They are dangerous because they use toxins to kill off other vegetation. We decided to educate ourselves on the invasive species in order to be able to educate others on the problems that are facing our local environment. On Saturday, November 20th, 2010, we volunteered at the Urban Ecology Center. The Urban Ecology Center is an environmental education organization with two community centers adjacent to Milwaukee County Parks. The Urban Ecology Center is a neighborhood-based environmentally education nonprofit community center. Their outdoor laboratories, located in two urban parks, include 15 acres of woodland land and riparian habitat on the east bank of the Milwaukee River. The east side of Milwaukee, as well as the nonprofit organization, the Urban Ecology Center, share similar values of culture. The idea of giving back time to improve the community and developing different options to make it easier for the community members to do so is part of the culture as, as this organization. This organization has a strong tie with the community. Because its cultural values of making public areas a better place reach out to so many different ways, the organization is fortified by the community. The Ecology Center believes that teaching kids at an early age will help them grow to be ecology responsible adults. The Urban Ecology Center is connected to 30 local schools reaching up to 15,000 kids a year. The kids get to explore the ecology of their local community with the Urban Ecology Center. Educational programs enrich the existing MPS K-12 science curriculum with outdoor hands-on learning experiences. The biggest problem that the Urban Ecology Center faces is getting volunteers to commit themselves to teaching the children and helping out with the organization's goals. The Urban Ecology Center is seeking volunteers with expertise in natural sciences. The book defines expertise as the knowledge and skills that distinguish experts from novices and less experienced people. The Urban Ecology Center teaches kids about the environment by observation. The kids get to see and touch nature and learn from experiences that you can't get out of the book. Another problem facing the Urban Ecology Center is pollution. Companies are conducting businesses unethically by dumping waste in the Milwaukee River. This pollution not only contaminates the park, but it also contaminates the lake. For goal one, we will learn the importance of educating children and young adults on how to take care of their surrounding environment while volunteering at the Urban Ecology Center on November 20, 2010 with at least two different staff members. We were successfully able to reach this goal. Nearly 40 people volunteered that day and worked with Team Go Pack Go. As a group, we learned the characteristics of buckthorn, where to look for it, and how to remove it. We worked in the Riverside Park on both sides of the bike trail, removing buckthorn from the park. The group used tools provided by the Urban Ecology Center to help us uproot the invasive species. We were able to show other groups our techniques in removing the buckthorn. Team Go Pack Go now knows that the Urban Ecology Center is a great place to learn not only the benefits of volunteering, but also the positive aspects of restoring an environment within a surrounding community is to have to make them uh, feel a little bit more responsible for the land around them to sort of give them a connection and, and a greater respect for it when they see 
they do all sorts of um, educational programs and some of it learning the water cycle and the food web and different things like that and giving them that sense of oh yeah it's not just a bunch of trees it's actually there's an ecosystem going on out there and there are all sorts of things so that gives them a greater understanding and connection to that piece of land. So we're entirely a nonprofit. so all of our, our funding to run the center whether it's through our school programs we take we deal with 44 schools. We have programs that they come to, they come through the center and out into the park at least a few times over the course of the school year. And the idea is to connect kids with the land. So that if they see this piece of land more than just once and then never seeing it again, they'll see it several times over the course of the year and that gives them that sense of connection with a piece of land that's in their own neighborhood. They're all within a two mile radius of the centers. So th this center as well as Washington Park and we'll soon be opening a new one in the Menominee Valley in 2012. And it gives them, it's a park that they can go back to to visit. So it's not getting on a bus and seeing nature somewhere far, far away and seeing nature in the city in their own neighborhoods. And they can come back and see it and it's giving them more of a connection to the land too. For our second goal, we will each individually remove at least five buckthorn plants at the Urban Ecology Center on November 20th, 2010 for two hours. The term invasive species deals with, an, with a native environment and restoring that environment to what it once was. Plants and animals can develop in environments other than their innate existence. In the Riverside Park, buckthorn is a plant made of a woody spine and is somewhat twiggy. This plant seemed to have rapidly spread throughout the area and our task was to remove the plant and its roots. We used root pulling tools to remove thicker breeds and shovels for smaller breeds. From 9.30 to 11.30, our group created pile of buckthorn route while receiving numerous compliments from group leaders about the vast amount of the invasive species that our group was able to remove. Goal three, we will become informed about at least three ways a nonprofit organization such as the Urban Ecology Center survives in a struggling economy. The center is a nonprofit organization receiving funding from various different resources within the community of Milwaukee. The first type of funding is through donations by individuals within the community who think it is important to preserve the environment. Anyone is eligible to make these donations at any time. The next way the organization is funded is through the government. For example, the center received a million dollar grant from the Environmental Protection Agency, which is to restore the Riverside Park area around the Milwaukee River. Finally, the center offers rentals of outdoor equipment such as gardening supplies, kayaks, boats, backpacking supplies, etc. This is equipment is available to members of the Ecology Center who pay a small membership fee. <laughs> so we bring in also, to fund the center, we have an annual fund drive, we have memberships, um, which over there I encourage anyone to take a newsletter to look at as well as membership information. Anyone who's a member can also borrow skis, kayaks, canoes, uh, snowshoes, and all sorts of other things. That's one of our, our best features of being a member is, is the equipment lending program. And so we take in, the memberships help us run the center as well as found different foundations and grants. So because we don't have an overarching umbrella organization that funds us, we're entirely nonprofit and we have to fund ourselves. So we have to write all sorts of grants. And the, one of the most recent ones we received was through the EPA. It's a Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. So that's to do habitat restoration work from Locust to North Avenue on the east side of the river. So those are all lands that are under our management, as well as along the Oakleaf bike trail down to North Avenue. So we use all of those areas when we take the kids out into the park, that's our outdoor classroom. One recommendation we have to solve the problem of not having expert volunteers is by asking teachers to come to the Urban Ecology Center and teach other volunteers so they become experts. Then the volunteers will be able to effectively make an impact on the community. Our recommendation for solving the pollution problem facing the center and its resources are to educate companies on the harm that they are doing to the environment. They could also report to the news what businesses are contaminating the river with. This could help the public become more aware of the problems that are facing our community and could lead to fewer companies polluting the environment. We would like to thank the Urban Ecology Center and the members of the community for making our experience possible. We recommend the center to anyone looking to give back.